What is up guys? This is Mini Angling TV today with a new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because uh, it's winter, the fishing is tough and there's a few things I want to get done. First of all, this video is inspired by Lankus TV. I saw his video on his DIY homemade bass fishing structure. So we're going to try and create something similar to that today but there's a few other things that are happening. I'm going to be doing with a friend Luan. And then we're going to be catching frogs because tomorrow I'm going to be doing some barbel or catfish fishing. Let's get this lighting perfect. Anyway, so that's the plan for today. A big shout out to Muhammad Akudi. He is last week's uh, comment of the day. So if you guys want to be comments of the day, make sure you leave your comments in the comment section. And then I'll pick a shout out each week and, well, each video. And then do a little shout out for that person. Anyway, let's get this stuff in the vehicle. Let's get to Luan and let's just get this project underway. Uh, hello, Laundry. <laughs> Why are you covering it up? Hello, Laundry. <laughs> Guys, and you like it? Huh? And you like it? No, it's slippery, it's so slippery as hell. I would say go really quiet and then try to scoop them right at the deep side because that's probably where they'll be if they're in here. Got one. Got one. Two, three of them. Hey Joe! Hey Joe! Got some froggies. Some small little uh, froggies over there. Otherwise, just putting some water in the bucket so we can scoop them in. Yeah. I thought this is going to be a lot more difficult. So we're at the plot right now catching some frogs. Um, I need to quickly drive to the hardware store to get some of the pipes and containers and stuff like that. Today is going to be like a, a practice round to maybe make one or two pieces of structure and then later in the year or maybe like a month or two from now we're going to make a big project. One of um, my friends is actually building a dam and uh, he wants to have a lot of structure and stuff in it so then this will just be the practice round for that so stay tuned. So these frogs are actually not for this video, but it's for next video, tomorrow's video where we're going to be catching some catfish. So you guys better subscribe if you guys want to see that content. And let's just check how much frogs Luan can catch. I'm going to quickly drive to the hardware store. So see you guys there. What do you want to say to the world? Hey, I appreciate that you catch the frog here and you take two fish away. <laughs> <laughs> So we got some of the pipes for the project right now and uh, Bucks, the man you saw earlier in the video that said he appreciated us catching frogs, uh, he's cleaned some buckets for me. So now we're picking up um, Luan and then going back to the home and ooh, look at this. I would say that's uh, enough frogs. <laughs> hello, hello, how are you? Hello. Jeez. A few nice ones in there. It's gonna be perfect tomorrow for some catching some catfish. There's a few of them in there. That's that's enough. I think that's good. Mm. Let's, yeah, no. let's load up and then uh, get the project done. Yep. Let's <laughs> start working. This is our junk pile. Um, just filling up these with rocks and bricks and stuff because we don't want to waste money on cement to fill up the buckets. Uh, I know Lunkers use cement. It is ideal, but we don't want to waste money on that, sir. So. We're just going to use bricks to keep the buckets down when we put it in the water. It's going to fill it up full with some bricks. I think that should be enough. Yeah, there we go. I just want to show you guys a little bit about the piping which I just bought from the hardware shop. It costed about 100 bucks in South African and then $10 in American dollars about. If I have my sums right, but anyway. That's it, about 20 meters of just piping. So this is our test run as I said, so we're not going to go all out. And then with the final one, we will go all out. What do you think, Luan? Yeah, no, I think it's going to work. We're going to start working on our bucket right now. We're actually just measuring the drill we need to drill the holes in the bucket. That's going to be a tight fit for the poles. So we can just slide it in. 
All right, <laughs> so um, we got this uh, multi-drill size bit over here. We then have buckets. We're gonna just uh, drill some holes in the bucket that's gonna fit these small pores so we can just push them in. So yeah, let's drill our first hole. A big thanks to all gingerbread man over here. Yeah, yeah, what's up, for what's sorting up? us out with the drill bit on the real world yeah, photography. I was like, if you guys need some photo shoots, contact him. <laughs> Link in the description. Lacquer. Anyway, guys, uh, the project is all finished. As you guys can see, uh, we're gonna take it to the dam right now and put it in the water. Let's get to the dam. All right, guys, things didn't really guys planned. Uh, we're actually heading out to the dam now. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing as well. But let's get to the spot and then drop our DIY bass structure and start fishing. Right on here, I got a mojo rigged Z Man Crow, a rattle trap from my previous comp, and then a weightless fluke. So let's see if we can get any fish. All right, James Luan is going to put this bad boy for us in the water. That is what it looks like the finished product. Uh, we actually need a little bit more of the poles on the sides, but we have to work with what we have right now. As we said, this is like a practice round, so now we know in the future that we're going to need a lot more of these uh, water pipes. Um, and then hopefully in a week's time or so, the bass will be stuck all around it. And then if I cast in that direction, fish on. <laughs> there we go. So there's Luan taking the thing in right now. More to the right. All right, I'll cast quickly. How about there? Just go slowly, don't want to fall in. Thumbs up for Luan guys, uh, waiting in this winter to drop our bass structure. Yeah, I would say that's perfect, eh? Is it sinking? He says, yep. Awesome. Can't say it at all, he says it's out of sight, so that's perfect. So if we cast just a little bit before that, we're going to pick up some nice bass, so. Really happy about our little job today. Um, if you guys got any questions or anything you want to ask us about it, feel free to leave it in the comment section. But right now, let's just do a little bit of fishing and see if we can get something. All right, guys, uh, the fish just not biting today. Um, we've tried quite a bit of different techniques, but yeah, I think that's going to conclude today's video. Just want to give a big thanks to Luan for helping me out today with the bear structure. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe, bu the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified the next time I upload. And then uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy your day. Cheers out.